gentlemen, welcome back to the Smart Tank Revolution, where we always kick out at two. I am your solo host today, the benevolent, intelligent, excellent, and eloquent, Mr. Donnie Wonderful. Going off subject, off the script, I have to get this off of my chest, okay? Listen, I need to appeal to your horror movie senses for all my slasher film fans. This recording is especially made for and in response to Brother Gino, who I've roasted on this channel, mind you. I probably will leave the link in one of the preview boxes, or not the link, rather the video. But um, it's October, horror movie season, Halloween season, you guys know the deal. Give you a quick backstory. It's a group of four friends. We're only going to focus on two of them. <laughs> two of them, right? We're family, technically. Practically. Whatever. We're family, right? Um, two of us are real horror movie fanatics, but for a particular franchise, all right? Well, let's skip all the uh, subliminals. I love Halloween. Brother Gino loves Friday the 13th. And then, you know, there's others. Like, we watch them all, you know. Shout out to Nightmare on Elm Street, Wes Craven and all that, you know. Um, Child's Plays and your Texas Chainsaw Massacres. All of those get the respect that they deserve. However, if you ask me, Oh, not to mention, you know, Psycho. I'm a huge fan of all of that. All the Albert, uh, Alfred Hitchcock, um, uh, all those, you know, the North by Northwest, the Psychos. You know, I love Psycho, by the way. Absolutely love it. Um, be a huge fan of the Twilight Zone. You know, any any other sci-fi, suspense, thriller, horror. Like, I love it all. Like, I'm a movie buff. So is Brother Gino, right? However, again... When it comes to slasher films, I believe the bee's knees is Halloween. He believes Friday the 13th is the best. In particular, we were having a conversation yesterday where he said, you take the two best movies out of the Friday the 13th franchise. And I'm paraphrasing. I hope I'm not getting any of this wrong. But from what I understood, he was saying that Friday the 13th Part 4, the final chapter, and Friday the 13th Part 6, New Beginning. I'm sorry, not, no, no, no. Jason Lives, whatever it's, whatever the subtitle is. Part 6. That those were the two best in the franchise. I agree. In the Friday the 13th franchise, I agree. We share those sentiments. I'm I'm really a huge fan of, uh, of Part 1, even though it doesn't include... Jason, obviously, and um, part two is growing on me. I have to watch that. A, I have to watch that a bit more. I'm also a huge fan of part seven. I love the whole Jason versus Carrie. Um, I'll give you a quick synopsis. Part five isn't as bad as what people claim. <laughs> uh, part three is is probably the one I that I've watched the most, but um, I do definitely agree with part four being um, Jason at his most. Well, no, I can't even say that. I was going to say Jason Voorhees was at his most masochistic in part four. You watch Jason X, he's pretty aggressive. And and Jason X was, um, yeah, you know what? Like, like I, I give Jason X his props. I definitely do. You know, it was an inter entertaining watch. But um, but part four, yeah. Um, that That's up there with Jason at his most masochistic. Uh, part six was the cl no i'm sorry i probably watched part six part six the most out of all of them that's uh in my opinion that that was a classic i told him okay you know supernatural things aside make your argument and the argument was that we were comparing the two best to one of the uh in my opinion one of the one of the best not the best in the halloween series but the 1981 halloween 2 i know a lot of people don't like that but i really enjoyed it the first time i saw it for a long time that was my favorite movie 
and the uh um uh well no i'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole but nevertheless halloween 2 1981 like it hasn't really aged that well to me but i remember when i was young like that was when i was younger that was my favorite movie it beat out the 1990 tmnt i don't know what i was thinking but you know it's still very re rewatchable to me not my favorite in the series um but at the time it was and we were just comparing those two now i want to know am i delusional am i biased brother gino was saying that those movies were were better i don't necessarily remember any of his arguments having the sting of the umph to make me think you know the things that make you go hmm was not there i'm sorry i was saying that i would take and i would watch halloween 2 over friday the 13th part 4 and friday the 13th part 6 i was saying i like it better because it's a continuation it's the same night it's halloween night 1978 right started off you all day long he's stalking laurie strode he finds out that laurie's in in the haddonfield memorial hospital and he's on his way there which if you look at the editing if you guys remember uh when he bumps into the kid with the radio he's on his way there anyway so and that just goes to tell you like michael myers had a photographic memory mind you he hadn't been there since he murdered his sister but he knew or they have great directive street signs in Haddonfield Illinois I just wanted to put, put that out there but the fact that that was a continuation of the same night I thought that story flowed better when you watch Halloween and again Halloween is a classic I mean like to compare any of the the newer or even the slasher films that followed it to halloween is is an unfair comparison and even i believe brother gino echoed that sentiment so when, when you watch that and the end of that movie the end he falls off the back balcony and i understand in the <laughs> in the in, in part two you know it was a continuity slip as i like to say uh, but in Halloween 1, he shot off the back balcony. In Halloween 2, 1981, he shot off the front balcony. Um, look at the grass. It's, <laughs> it's, it's all dirt in Halloween 1. But in Halloween 2, 1981, you know, he falls into that grass. You can, you can, you can golf 18, 18 holes in that. I mean, that's just literally on the green. I mean, it, it, it was, it, it looked like a, uh, <laughs> good, it, it was, it was so vibrant. I said, Look, that's a lot of green for October, you know, and you know, going into November, it's a lot of green in the fall, not a leaf on the ground. Continuity deals, but yeah, who cares? But anyway, I digress. And I forgot the point that I was making. But I'll never forget the crux of why I turned this microphone on is because Halloween 2, in my opinion, is better than Halloween 4 and Halloween 6. I'm sorry, and Friday the 13th Part 4 and Friday the 13th Part 6. Okay? Um, I do like how um, Part 4 started. You know, Jason in the morgue. Um, part Friday the 13th Part 4 is is um it's they are they're all great movies but my issue is this i love tommy jarvis but normally uh the lead protagonist and this formula has worked in other slasher films i.e halloween it's typically a woman laurie strode okay you know jamie lloyd we get them for multiple movies, multiple movies. I like the Tommy Jarvis, I'm sorry, I like the Tommy Jarvis deal, but you know, there's always like a sidekick with him. There's always a sister or a floozy 
<laughs> or a woman with him, right? But they but they're all interchangeable. And that was that was my that's one of my issues. You know, Jason's always battling a new foe. And you know, for the for the first three for the first two no, no, no. For the first three of Jason Voorhees's um appearances you know they're just teenagers come going out to have a good time so you know there's not going to be you know much continuity with any of the characters there tommy jarvis i i did feel a connection with and uh the end of four you know the way he looked into the camera you know you you thought that all right he's going to be the new jason and this is one of the reasons why i liked uh part five is because for a while they made it seem like you didn't know who was the actual killer. It could have been Tommy Jarvis, you know? And, you know, I thought they did a really good job with that. But then, you know, part six, which is a classic, which I love, you know, he's already dead, my man. He's already dead. You, What more can you do? Just let him rot. You dug him up and you're going to mutilate him some more and... And his boy that went with him is even more foolish because he should have been the one to talk Tommy off the <laughs> off the cliff of insanity. You know, like if there's anything, you know, just pour some gasoline, light light the corpse on fire, or walk away. He he just that that's just some untapped aggression that caused the whole another series of movies because Tommy Jarvis wasn't smart, and then. I'm getting with the sheriff's daughter and all of that, man. They should have hung Tommy Jarvis. Like, uh, his stupidity alone caused even more wreckage and more carnage. When can you say that about Laurie Strode? You can't. Name a timeline. Go ahead. I dare you. I double dog, triple dog dare you. Listen, if you made it this far, I appreciate uh, you listening to my tangent. We'll definitely... Me and my esteemed colleague, Mr. Joey Business. Shout out to you, brother. We're getting back to the wrestling content. I was on vacation, guys. I was on vacay. Sunny Florida before the hurricanes. And then, you know, like I came back home and my mind was still on vacay. I'm sorry, but we're back. All right. I promise there'll be more tangents like this, but wrestling related. I'll be reading some more articles because I want to. I want to definitely um, take this time too. I know I'm all over the place, but I want to. I appreciate everybody who actually uh, reaches out to us. I forgot that um, on YouTube, when you go to the channel, it gives you like the uh, the email address of of the um, of the of the channel. Basically, you know, you, you guys know what I'm saying. But you guys have been reaching out and and, um, and sending me articles to read. Uh, wrestling related articles and I will get to those and I appreciate all of you but you guys let me know what you think Halloween 2 the 1981 version versus Friday the 13th part 4 and 6 I want you to rank them all right and then continue this debate for us Michael Myers versus Jason Voorhees who wins franchise versus franchise Halloween versus Friday the 13th. Who wins? Which one was better? You guys let me know. Donnie Wonderful, signing off.